If you like to keep your charts nice and clean when trading, you definitely need to learn the strategy I'm about to show you in this video. This amazing method includes only one indicator, but the way we are going to use it is something you've probably never seen before. This new approach will also give you a lot of high quality trade entries per day so that you can start making easy profits from trading Forex, crypto or stocks. Okay, so we're currently looking at the price of Euro USD on a 5 minute time frame. And in order to build this setup, we need to click on the indicators tab and type in moving average. Then you need to select this indicator right here. A moving average is a stock indicator commonly used in technical analysis. The reason for calculating the moving average of a stock is to help smooth out the price data by creating a constantly updated average price. This indicator is designed to identify the trend direction of a stock or to determine its support and resistance levels. There are multiple ways how you can place your trade entries based on this indicator. For example, you can change the length on a moving average and then enter the trade every time the price action crosses and closes below or above the moving average. However, this method of trading only works when the market is trending. As soon as the market starts ranging, you start getting a lot of trade entries, but almost all of them are not successful. Another way of using it is to wait for the price action to pull back into the moving average, and then place an order as soon as the market starts forming a strong candlestick. This method of trading is a bit better, but again, it cannot be used in a range in market. So, in order to utilize the moving average in the best possible ways for maximum profits, you need to take the following steps. First, add another moving average to the chart. Second, access the settings on one of them and set the length at 20. Then you need to change the source from close to high. And in the star section, make the line a bit thicker. Now double click on the second MA. Set its length at 20 as well. And change the source from close to low. Also change its color so that you don't get confused. Okay, the setup is ready and now let's understand the trading rules. So for a signal to go long, you need to have the following conditions met. First, the price action must be moving above the moving averages. Second, the market needs to pull back into the MA, which is on the bottom. For that, the candlestick must be touching the MA with its wick or its body, yet it must not cross and close below it. Third, the moving averages must be pointing upwards. And lastly, the market must form a bullish candlestick that would cross and close above the upper MA. The stop loss will be set slightly below the lower MA. As for the take profit, you're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. It's very important to stick to the rules, otherwise the strategy will simply not work. Notice when the market is moving sideways, the MAs are usually flat. This is a very good indication that we should avoid entering the trade. On the other hand, when the market is controlled by buyers, the MAs are pointing upwards. For short trades, the rules are exactly opposite. First, the price must be moving below the moving averages. Second, the market must pull back into the upper MA. During the pullback, the candlestick is touching, yet not crossing and closing above the MA. So, a pullback like this wouldn't be valid. Third condition, the moving averages must be pointing downwards. And when the market forms a bearish candlestick that crosses and closes below the lower MA, this is a signal for you to take a short position. The stop loss is going to be set above the upper MA. The take profit target will stay the same. Ok traders, I hope the rules are clear. Now let's move on to the backtesting to find out how effective this strategy can be in different market conditions.
So after testing it for 100 times, the win rate turned out to be 75%. I found those setups within 6 weeks, and the account growth is over 450%. The profit factor is 4.5 and we had 12 consecutive wins against 2 consecutive losses. So overall I'm really happy with these results and I give the strategy a score of 9 out of 10. And now let me show you a trick how to improve this strategy even more. Head over to the indicators and type in higher higher lower low strategy. Then access its settings. And in the star section uncheck everything except for higher high and lower low. And now, in order to enter a long trade, you need to have the previous conditions met, and on the top of that, the price action must cross and close above the previous higher high before it makes another pullback. You can also change the money management strategy. If you want to learn the best one, make sure to check out my previous video. With this higher high lower low strategy, you will avoid taking trades like this. Notice we had a pullback, but the price action did not break above the previous higher high before the next pullback. So this entry is automatically cancelled. By the way, let me know in the comments if you want me to backtest this strategy as well.